I still cringe every time I go and get the hair trim. Cause I'm like, I'm now at bra strap length. But if you trim, it's gonna go away. If you have natural kinky, curly, coily hair and you don't trim, let's talk more about it. Okay, y'all ready? Maybe full checking in. Lego. I was inspired by the book of Proverbs chapter three, verse seven and eight. Be not wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Amen. I've been natural for a very, very long time, but there's something I still struggle with doing, although I have the head knowledge of knowing how healthy and how and how beneficial it is for my kinky, curly, coily hair is trimming. I still cringe every time I go and get the hair trimmed. Cause I'm like, I'm now at broad strap length. But if you trim, it's gonna go away, which I hate. But I also have to be real with myself. I don't wanna be at bra strap length with unhealthy hair, split, withered ends, cause that's not real length, you feel me? So if you gotta trim it, trim it, so that my healthy length can shine through. I hope this angle is okay. This is a new angle I'm kinda playing with with my camera. Y'all didn't ask for all that. <music> Trimming your natural hair. Trim it or else, right? Or else you will not experience the growth that you really want to experience. Now, of course, there's so many other factors that go into this, but one thing I know a lot of people do not give enough attention to is the power of trimming. So many things. Trim your hair every three months. Trim your hair every six months. Trim your hair every five months. Trim your hair every day. Because that's always the number one question when it comes to trimming. Not really how do I trim, how often? My beautician told me anywhere between four to six months. If you want to take it to science, well, in the Journal of Cosmetic Science, it says to trim our hair every eight to 12 weeks. That averages about, wait, Gary, let me do my math real quick. Alexa, how many months is 12 weeks? 12 weeks is two months and 23 days. How many months is eight weeks? Eight weeks is one month and 26 days. Thank you, girl. You're welcome. And thanks for the continued thanks. You just made this AI's day. My pleasure. <laughs> So the Journal of Cosmetic Science is saying one to two months, but they also said doing so will give you less breakage and less split ends, which eventually leads to overall healthier hair. Now, if it's a one to two months, I'm assuming this might not be based on like, I mean, hair is hair, yes, but there's a difference between, you know, the naturally straight, naturally wavy, naturally curly, naturally coily. There's a difference. But nonetheless, we all need a trim. The goal is to prevent our hair from being comfortable with split ends, withered ends, and breakage. And we all know less breakage means what? Healthier, flourishing, consistently growing, length maintaining hair. So if you think trimming your hair means less hair, you're wrong, okay? When the split ends are removed, guess what? Your hair shaft stays intact, which will allow our kinky, coily, curly hair to grow with less hindrances, or better yet, no hindrances, okay? Because the split ends is the silent haters you don't see coming. The thing about split ends is that as your hair grows, it will continue to split, okay? So your hair might be getting longer from the scalp, but at the end, where the elders are, you know, the oldest part of our hair, it's just splitting. So, I talk a lot about trimming in this video because that's the whole subject of trimming our naturally kinky coily hair. However, this has to be done in combination with what? Keeping our coils moisturized and hydrated, keeping it in a low to protective maintenance type of level, okay? And most importantly, what we put in our body plays the biggest role. So eat a balanced diet, get your fruits, vegetables in, protein, work out at least 15 to 30 seconds a day. All of that plays a major role in our overall health and the healthy hair we desire to have. So now let's talk about how to trim your hair, okay? Y'all seen, I've been showing y'all clips of when I went to go, of me going to get my hair trimmed. I don't wanna sound hypocritical by saying, go to your beautician, get your hair trimmed, that's it. Or do it yourself and save money, that's it. I've tried both methods and I think it's a combination of both. I think to have an even trim, a thorough trim, the best way to do that is to go to a professional. I always aim towards a natural hair professional. If you're in the Houston area, you should definitely check out Transform by, oh, holla at her. She knows her stuff, period. And she has a YouTube channel. 
to check her out. I do think in between your meetings, depending on how often you're going, I'm gonna base this off of someone who goes twice, maybe two to three times a year, okay? I think in between, do your little maintenance trims where you're literally going through, looking at your hair, feeling for things, seeing the split ends and trimming those parts off. Does it take time? Yes, it does. But it also takes time to sit on your couch and watch, next, and watch Netflix for four hours. I'm just saying, y'all. And this is something I had to check myself on. Like, girl, I'll take forever. However, you can sit here and be watching Netflix, be watching Indian Matchmaker for 20 hours. No complaint. But for you to do something that is healthy and beneficial for you overall, in the long run, you are complaining. I literally talk to myself like that. So if any of y'all felt that, then that message is for you too, okay? Takes time, but it's well worth it. So yes, y'all, overall, I think it's important to find a stylist that knows how to work with natural hair textures. Y'all know our stuff is very, very special. It's very delicate, like porcelain glass. You can't just let anybody handle it, okay? Now, if you're somebody like, mm-mm, nappy fool, I've been doing and trimming my own hair at home for like several years. I don't need to go to, I don't need to go out of my house spending my green to have someone do something to my hair that I can already do myself, cool. Or if you're somebody who's like, no, I really wanna know how to do it myself because I don't trust nobody. I tried a cosmetologist before and they really just messed it all up for me. I ain't gonna do that again. I didn't know how to do it myself. Cool. And have a video here on YouTube on how to trim your hair yourself, okay? So make sure you check it out because I will still do that method if I haven't decided to switch gears and let someone else trim my hair, okay? <music> If you're gonna trim your own hair, I definitely suggest in trimming in sections, okay? One section at a time. Split your hair up evenly and do it one section at a time. And what I learned from my cosmetologist is that you also wanna trim in all angles. So if you're pulling it forward, trim. You pull it up, trim. You pull it back, trim. Left, right, so forth and so on. So you can get the most even cut, okay? You don't wanna leave no withered, no split, no knots behind. So you're gonna need extra mirrors, okay? Or have a friend there that can help you out too. Trim, trimming along with your girlfriends, y'all chatting it up, it makes it a lot of fun. But at the same time, you can get distracted. <laughs> and you make a mistake, go for a bead. So just be responsible, be responsible. But don't feel compelled to do it just because you see a lot of people do their own trimming at home. So I want to end on this note. As it says in the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 14. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Okay. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Hello? Hmm. Do you not see what that was? Okay, let me, let me be serious for a minute. What I take from this in application to what we're talking about today is that it says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. It doesn't indicate that certain parts of us are. It says we are. So that includes our natural hair. It is a part of the wonderful work that God has created in us. Our hair is a unique expression and a part of the image of God. You feel me? So by doing things that although we don't like to do it, but we know it's beneficial for us trimming, we are showing gratitude to what God has entrusted us with. Now, I know you're probably like, that's going too far, Grace, but that's how I really see it. Like everything you trusted me with, from my hair to my skin, to my nose, to my feet, I wanna make sure I'm doing the things to take care of it because clearly you gave it to me for a reason, you know? So I try to spend less time finding the things I don't like about it and more times and focus on the fact that God called it good, right? When he was done building all this stuff, he said, and this is good. So I gotta see it as that. So I'm just giving this to encourage people who really talk down on the stuff that they naturally grow out of their body or they naturally have skin tone, hair, whatever it may be. Pray to God for you to help to see the goodness in it, just like he saw it when he gave it to you. So embrace your natural self, embrace your natural hair, embrace you all around, take good care of you and love yourself on purpose and watch how things change around mentally emotionally, physically, all around, okay? All right, that's it, y'all. Let me know in the comment box below what your game plan is for taking better care of your ends, okay? Are you gonna trim it more? Are you gonna finally book that appointment for that natural hairstyle that you already found, but for some reason you just haven't brought yourself to go and see her yet? Let me know in the comment box what you're gonna do, what is your game plan? This right here is one of Transformed by Old Hair Unit. I want you to make sure you are subscribe to our channel because on her channel she's going to end up showing the entire process she went through to even to create this 
and install it. In case you're wondering more details about this hair, I will definitely link it in the comment box below. Now this is a reinstall. I just washed it yesterday, so I haven't done anything with it. I'm actually gonna wear it just like this. But when she installed it, she did wand curls and made it look even prettier than it does right now, okay girl? But I'm gonna work it like this in its natural state because I'm lazy. I don't feel like wand curling nothing. All right, let's go ahead and tap into our Netflix mode by watching more episodes, okay? And go ahead and watch this one here. It's really based on self-development and I give a lot of more tips about mindset. Or if you wanna continue watching more self-care type of videos, check out this one here. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Until then, remember my cousin, my friends, Team Kinks. In order to have healthy mind, body, soul, everything, you got to do healthy things consistently, okay? And who checking out? This is.